It's being in a building where people respect one another. I walk through the high school and the middle school every day, and I do it different periods of time. I think the social, emotional opportunities that we have there with our young people who are respectful, and one of the points I made with the town manager and your directors is that I can tell our kids care and they appreciate what you have done for them and the school committee has done for them in terms of uh, the building that you built for them. Um, we don't see vandalism up there. We don't see some of the kinds of things you're going to see in, in schools that uh, have diverse populations. Our kids take pride in the school. They, and even when you go to the elementary level, and if you walk through a school and you look, uh, one of the first things my eyes go to is, uh, uh, what do the desks look like? Are they, are they writing on their desks? And some of you might have done that when you were in school. All right? That are they taking care of the property? So what I see is that our kids care. When I walk through the building, they're always respectful. They say hello. I watch them do it with others. So we've got great kids in this community. The other thing is until we change the culture and climate of the kids and the families in this town to expect them to behave in classrooms, you're never going to sustain learning. I feel bad for any kid in the classroom that can't learn. In the last two weeks, because I know the people personally what happens, a kid getting arrested off a bus because he's been told not to go on that bus and can't listen and the police have to come up there to remove him, and then the kid assaults the police officer and he's a sixth grader? And then we have another teacher in a classroom who tries to take away a ball and gets trapped between two classrooms and has to be arrested? Another sixth or seventh grader? That is ridiculous. That's what angers me. I used to sit up here and say, let's be all positive, but until we change the culture and climate, and say to kids and families, we're not going to accept this uh, behavior in our schools.